Congratulations on your purchase of your new J-Pure Water Ionizer. In this installation guide, we're going to show you how to unpack the unit from the box and how to quickly install it to your kitchen faucet. Remove the accessory pack from the top of the box. With your feet on each side of the box, use your two forefingers and insert into the holes in the styrofoam and slide the unit out of the box and move the unit to your counter. Remove the styrofoam from each side of the box. Then remove the plastic covering from the unit. Open the accessory box and remove all the contents. You'll find every item inside needed to install your JPure machine to most standard faucets, along with some other accessories. Inside your accessory box, you'll have a number three pre-filter, a pH test kit, a replacement fuse, faucet adapters and washers, a diverter, power cord, sea salt packets, gray water hose for diverter, cleaning cartridge, acidic water drain line, and a flexible top hose. Remove the shipping gel pack from the back of the machine and discard it. To attach the acidic water drain line, remove the rubber cap. The plastic connectors on the drains and hoses are special locking quick connects. When you push them in all the way into the fittings, they will lock in place. If you don't push them in completely, they can leak. To unplug, gently press down on the round ring as you pull the connector, and it will unlock and slide out. You can lay the JPure on its face to give you easy access. Remove the shipping cap from the acid water outline by pushing in on the blue ring and pulling out the shipping cap. When you remove the shipping cap, some water may run out. This is normal as each machine was factory tested and a small amount of water may remain inside. Attach the drain line by pushing it in until it's locked in place. This will prevent leaks from the connectors. The JPure power supply is designed to work everywhere in the world. To check for the current voltage, you will need to open the back of the machine. Now find the tab on the side of the unit, gently push in and remove the back cover. Remove the salt tank to better access the voltage switch. Inside you will see the red switch either set at 115 or 230. Select the appropriate voltage for your region. Here in the US, we'll have it set to 115. Next, make sure the red arrow on the large filter is lined up with the red arrow on the unit. If they're not, the JPure will not work properly and will give you a filter warning. Now let's fill the salt tank. Remove the top off of the salt tank. Open one of the pre-measured sea salt packets and pour into the tank. Fill the tank with warm water to the fill line. Stir to dissolve the salt. Put the top back on. It will only fit in one direction. Push the salt tank back in all the way and then replace the cover. Remember the salt solution is used only when making supercharged water. Try to unscrew the aerator on your faucet. Not all aerators can be unscrewed. See if the diverter will screw directly onto your faucet. If it does, you're all set. If not, use one of the supplied faucet adapters. Put a washer inside before installing it onto the faucet. Screw the adapter in and tighten it by hand. Now take the diverter and remove the washer off of the handle and insert it inside. On the side, unscrew the hose connector. Slide the connector over the open end side of the gray hose with the inside threads facing the top. Attach the gray hose over the ribbed fitting. It's a tight fit, but it will slide on. Slide the connector back over the hose and hand tighten. Screw the diverter onto the adapter and again, hand tighten. We will now attach the pre-filter to the gray hose. Remove the packing caps by gently pushing in on the white oval ring while pulling out the caps on both sides. Now find the side that says in and insert the male side of the gray hose from the diverter and secure it into the pre-filter by pushing it all the way in to make sure it locks in place and does not leak. The outside of the pre-filter will connect directly into the tap water inline. 
Remove the red cap off of the hose and push it in firmly to the pre-filter so it locks. Now plug in the power cord and plug in the other end into a wall outlet. Face the unit towards you and remove the cap for the flexible top hose. Screw in the flexible top hose into your machine hand tight. Position the flexible hose and the drain line over your sink. Remove the plastic protective coating off of the touchscreen display and the front of the unit. Turn on the power switch on the back of your JPure machine and your unit will power up. When your JPure is on, the display will remain dark except for the top logo. The full screen graphics will appear each time water is running. The screen will go dark based upon your sleep settings. This is an eco-friendly conservation feature. To run tap water to your JPure machine, turn on the cold water with the diverter in a vertical position. Then, switch the diverter to a horizontal position and water will start flowing to your machine. Please remember, do not run hot water through your machine as this may damage the filter. Please note, there will always be water flowing from both the flexible hose and the drain while the unit is running. Auto clean. Keep water on. Do not drink. When you start running water into your JPure unit for the first time, it will go into a self-cleaning mode for about 15 seconds. You might notice a small amount of gray water for the first minute. This is normal. It's a small amount of carbon that is being rinsed out. We've designed the JPure to do a great job keeping itself clean. Supercharged. Auto clean. Keep water on. Do not drink. Every fourth time you run water, and every time you switch to or from supercharged water, your JPure will also enter the cleaning cycle. Settings. The touchscreen display allows you to easily change settings and select the language you want, the volume, and other user parameters. To stop the water flow to your JPure machine, simply turn the diverter valve back to the vertical position to allow water to flow through the bottom of the diverter, then turn the water off. If you have any difficulty attaching the diverter to your faucet, or just prefer not to have the hose and the diverter attached to your faucet, give us a call. We do have some other installation solutions. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call or send an email. We look forward to answering your questions. You can reach us at info at drinkjpure.com or call 949-769-2623. Enjoy your new JPure.